good luck, so we can get high Because me gone, I feel alive Anywhere, anyway, I will love you I will love you We rule the world, just you and I Just let me down, we walk the line But now nothing's gone wrong, I'll take a shot for you, you, you. Hello Leo, this is Inspire 2016 with your yearly reading for the year of 2017. We hope that you have a very uh, happy new year. And as always, we already pre-shuffled the card for you prior to the reading so that you get the message directly. So the way we laid out the card, we will draw 12 cards from the deck. And then each individual card will represent uh, each month of the year of 2017. So let's see what is in store for you. So I bet you can see the card by the way. Okay, so starting the year of 2017, you're feeling happy, you have a lot of celebrations uh, comes your way, maybe you're attending a lot of gathering or party, like say New Year, uh, New Year party or get together with your uh, colleagues and your uh, parents, your families and friends and things like that. It could also indicate some kind of uh, 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 new... Uh, let's say kind of uh, celebrations uh, let's say the like 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 holiday celebration or things like that so these type of uh, things 
it's commonly happened but you you somehow you you feeling uh, overly happy and a lot of uh, invitation comes your way and by the second month of the year it looks like you are feeling strong because you are a fire sign so this card indicates uh, male significant figure from the fire sign that are significant in your life it could also be your boss your current boss or your uh, let's say your work colleagues or your co-worker it could also be uh, somebody that are significant could also be your father figures if your father give a lot of impact in your life and this king could also be you as well uh, in some way you are feeling strong as well since you are a fire sign we want to look at it how many club cards you have one two three four five so you have five club cards here on overall uh, readings it looks like it's gonna be a good uh, year for you so the the third month of the year there is some kind of period of uh, rest in in some way or like pause a little bit because maybe you have to think things through what is the way of your career part or your love part or your life part that you want happening in your life maybe you already have uh, prepared a lot of uh, let's say new year eve uh, or new year resolution and kind of way but somehow you want to take a look on that deeply in that uh, in the springtime for instance in the month of march and by the month of april and somehow you finally reach the point of accomplishment for your career and your uh, work life and you get a lot of acknowledgments and a lot of success comes your way it could also be your uh, let's say financial uh, gain as well it could also be your acknowledgement from your boss or your peers it could also be from your uh, overall environments of your life as well in general so this kind of thing can also happen starting from the month of February towards the end of the month of April and somehow from that acknowledgement you also get whatever you wish for if you have been single for quite some time then you probably will get somebody that are interested in you as well by the month of May it looks like whatever uh, wishes that you have in mind you will be able to accomplish that or you will be able to get that uh, let's say wish come true as well but be careful of what you wish for as well try to be mindful on let's say positive things that are uh, manifesting in your life as well so by the end of the month of June which ended the first half of the year it looks like there is a new passions come in your uh, let's say your work life or it could also be in your personal relationship uh, life that you will be uh, feeling renewal uh, renewal of your uh, career path of your let's say sense of directions on your let's say the the path that you want to, to achieve in your life in in this case so overall in the first half of the year it looks like very positive although there's some pause here a little bit but it should be a, a good time also to reflect and also to to think over what to, you want to do in life uh, for the rest of the year and then for the second half of the year you have some kind of anxiety in your life it looks like maybe maybe if you're taking on so many different responsibilities then you may have also to juggle those things and then you have a lot of like sleepless night and tiredness and things like that in your life that probably trigger these kind of uh, anxieties or this kind of uh, negative behavior in your uh, in your life although in the next month the month of uh, September you finally decided to walk away from those situations in the end because you feel that your life is let's say too much hectic and you need to you know segregate the one that is important to you and the one that is not you just drop it away and you're just simply walking away from those type of negative environments or negative situation in your life into the brighter future 
and then you will meet this uh, queen of diamonds which is indicating in the traditional tarot that could be the queen of pentacles it looks like you will meet this person the the feminine figures in your life that are very uh, pr practical from the earth sign she's very grounded as well and loving towards others as well so she could be somebody that are close to you possibly by the month of uh, October or Aug uh, Sep July, August, September, September months, you will be meeting this person. Could also be your new boss, your new employer. If you walk away from your current employment, then maybe you don't satisfy with the one that you uh, encounter. And again, there is a celebrations here by the month of October possibly you will be able to again celebrate your success in your path as well there's a trine here by the way of your elements so after the celebration comes true by november month again you feel that you want to give it up but you sh the, the message here you should not do that you should go through and yeah work on the things that you believe in don't stop and don't give up and the same message here for the end of the year, which is December next year, that you also have to f work hard in order to achieve whatever you want in life. And don't give up because you almost reached the goal that you want. <coughs> to pointing out a little bit here, there is a trying here of your element, which is uh, 6, 4 and 9 of uh, clubs or 9 of wands. That signify within this period of time you will be able to you know to manifest your goal and your wishes and there is a sense of neutrality here that you have to be on your mind in in your in your goal you should not you have to be focused you, you should not just like distracted with so many different uh, responsibilities that are coming your way that may give you a bad let's say impact on the overall uh, results of your work and also your personal life you I don't see any problem so far because you get uh, a lot of uh, emotional uh, fulfillment here in the year of 2017 and let's see what is uh, in store for you for the clarifying card at the bottom of the deck so you have the ten of spade so this ten of spade indicates the end of uh, some certain things in your life it could also be your personal life it could also be your person your work life uh, any type of relationship that are um, draining your energy or something that are not working for you in the in your past interest so this could also be something that are let's say making you feel stress and you know don't uh, really good in uh, let's say in, in not in your favor in some way so although to summarize the whole reading it looks like that you begin the year with a lot of joy a lot of uh, celebrations and you're feeling strong there is some kind of period that you can take a rest uh, in the meanwhile before you achieving your goal and your success there's a trying here that makes you feeling strong, overly strong on your uh, mental and your well-being as well. And you get whatever you wish for. So be careful on your thought. Be mindful on whatever you want. Maybe if you want to have a, some certain relationship, then you have to be focused on the positive part, not just something that you don't want. And then the, there is a renewal of your passion that by, let's say, if you start your own business or if you start a new employment. Although this will give you a lot of sleepless night or a lot of anxiety because of, let's say, maybe you don't feel comfortable or you may not be feeling confident enough to achieve whatever you your boss wants you to, to do. Then finally, you... you you decided to walk away from those situation maybe you drop some of your responsibilities towards your boss and and you finally move on and then you maybe you, you meet this queen which can indicate uh, somebody that are close to you that can be your new employer 
that can s give you uh, better uh, outcomes of your work or your personal life as well let's say finding the balance all of that and then again there is a sense of celebration it can be you attending the gatherings or your your marriages or let's say engagement party and or maybe get together party and things like that and by the end of the year november december you feeling like tired and also feeling want to give up but the main purpose here you should not do that you should go through with whatever you are working through and believe that you will soon reaping the overall reward there's an ending here signified by this ten of spades it could also indicate here by the nine of spades there are significance by the month of august probably you will have to end some certain relationship in your life it could also be your personal relationship or love relationship or could also be your work uh, kind of career uh, relationship as well so i hope that this reading is helpful for you and if you liked reading just click like and subscribe to our channel thank you